Well, hello everybody, it's Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. So I spent $150 today at a local coin shop and I wanna show you what I got and I also wanna show you a few other things that I've been getting and been sent to me in the mail, uh, some cool stuff. Um, today is July 3rd, um, which means that fireworks have been going on for the last two weeks. <laughs> Um, so one day away from July 4th, I plan on setting some fireworks. Uh, let's roll the intro real quick and then I'll go into all the things that I've got. So I stopped by Coin Guy Shop, and here is something I picked up. It's an 1890 Carson City Morgan dollar. Now, when he grades these right here, this is his grade. He's not a professional grader. This is just his opinion after years of doing this. Um, so, hey, some of the professional graders out there in YouTube land may see this right here and may agree or disagree with the grade, and I'm okay with that. I think Coin Guy is too. You know, grading is uh, subjective, so um, go ahead and... You know, look this over and, and let me know what you think. think you think Coin Guy was right on? But um, 1890 Carson City, that's right. Uh, you know, I always like to get Carson Cities. They are expensive for sure. Um, I actually got this one for 90. Um, ignore the price tag of 105. You know how it goes. You can talk people down a little bit. You know what I mean? Get a get a deal here and there at the coin shop. That's one of the my favorite parts. Um, and I learned that years back from Pawn Stars of all places. Uh, you know, watching them haggle a little bit. And I'm like, that looks like fun. Just going in there and, you know, just doing a little haggling. Why not, right? Now, I don't beat the man down too bad. You know, he is, he is the coin guy. The man's a legend. So, um, but, you know, I want a deal and he wants a deal. So, you know, we work together and get that. Anyways, give me your opinion on this beautiful Carson City. Um, always happy to have Carson Cities. This is not a rare date by any means. That's why the price tag is, you know, at, well, 105. I talked him down to 90. Um, I got the red book right here. It is an older red book. So 1890 Carson City. You're looking at 2.3 million minted. Um, ignore the prices right here. This red book, you know how that goes with red books. The cooler part of the red book is uh, seeing the actual um, mintage uh, numbers and getting an idea of how the price goes. Uh, don't use it as a total, you know, end all be all. This is the price. Uh, more just like, you know, guidelines. But either way, um, it's, a, it's a nice piece. It's always nice to have Carson Cities. And uh, since I do have some air tights left, um, I want to put them in there. Um, off camera real quick, I'm going to clean this out because it has some dust on it. It's been kind of like laying around. We're going to find out where the staples are not. We're going to slide it in just like so. Bada bang. Sound like Mickey Mouse right now probably. <laughs> Secure the air tight capsule into that. Bada bing, bada blam. And there she is. She is in an air tight capsule. Uh, this would be a fun coin just to get graded. Uh, I don't imagine it would get, you know, too high of a grade by any means. It's got no real luster on there anymore. But uh, just to get it locked away in a in a graded slab would be kind of cool just for a Carson City. You know what I mean? Why not? A little bit more expensive of a Morgan, and it's just for me personally. Uh, anyways, so I got the Morgan dollar for $90, and I got these. These are the coolest things, right? So I seen these, and I was like, I said, guy, I said, what are these? And he said, oh, these are... Uh, you know, some pieces of uh, bullion, basically, uh, triple nine bullion. Uh, and he believed that they were from the uh, the Franklin Mint. He didn't know much about them. He's not really a bullion guy. He's more of a coin collector, right? So I'm like, you know what? Never seen these before. I might as well go ahead and pick them up. You can see the relief on old uh, Benjamin Franklin here. Look at that. Look how crazy these things are. And uh, beautiful detail and artwork on them. Um, they have some stuff on the edge. It says... 1776 and i believe some of them actually have more on there i'm going to try to oh, it's upside down um it says the metal medallic i think it's medallic medallic art company of new york triple nine plus pure silver and so i'd never heard of the medallic art company out of new york before so i actually looked them up and uh pretty famous company for doing metal work um, and I mean metal, M-E-D-A-L, uh, made out of metals. But I looked them up. They actually went bankrupt in uh, 2017, I believe it was. Um, 
And now the information about their metals and, and the stuff that they were producing um, apparently went to the American Numismatic Society. So I have reached out to them to try to get more information on these. If I do get some more information about them from the American Numismatic Society, I will go ahead and, you know, make another video maybe and talk about them. But they are very cool. Now, uh, tried to find out, you know, how much they're valued at on eBay. Not a lot of them being sold. I did find one on there that had been sold. But uh, yeah, man, it's, it's rough trying to find stuff about these. So here is Francis Lightfoot Lee. So now look at the detail and relief on these things, on this metal. Uh, these are fantastic. Um, you know, just bought these on a whim. And I tell you what, this is already instantly one of my favorite pieces uh, of my collection, these metals right here. These are really cool. Look at the detail. And look at the relief. Unbelievable. Uh, tell me right now that you wouldn't love to have these in your collection. Um, I don't know if it's a series. I don't know anything about them. Uh, like I said, <laughs> besides of where they come from. They all have the 1776 written on the edge and where they're from and the 999 fine silver. But that's really, that's really it. So really, really cool pieces, huh? A lot of neatness here. A lot of neatness. But And then we're going to look at this last one. Uh, who was this one? This one was, uh, let me see. This was Thomas Hayward Jr. And then we got right here... Uh, William Ellery, and again, just fantastic looking. And you can see that, that edge information right there, the Medallic Art Company in New York, triple uh, nine plus pure silver. And then the back, common sense addressed to the inhabitants of America. William Henry, Thomas Paine. Very neat, huh? So yeah, let me know what you think about these, man. This is, like I said, that's an instant uh, favorite of mine. This is going to go on these little easels right here. And uh, these are going to be stacked around the place uh, just to showcase them because uh, these are fantastic. Just so much work went into these little metals. Very, very cool. Happy to have them and at a great price. Um, I got the set uh, of four here for 60 bucks. So um, almost uh, almost the price of uh, silver, really. I mean, a couple dollars over um, spot. Sweet. Sweet deal. I'll take them for that all day long. Anything, anything people want to sell me that's cool like this right here for close to spot, I'm down. I am down. Uh, very, very awesome to have those. And um, let's also talk about some things that I have got in the mail lately. So let's put these over here just so I can still, still have them in the picture because, man, they're cool. They are awesome. A lot of bang. All right. And then the CC Morgan Dollar. Um, I was sent this right here in the mail a little while ago. And I thought this was actually something that we could all probably kind of use in our wallet. Um, and here it is. It's a gold tester. Now you've seen one of these on my on my channel before. Uh, it's a little bit different, the gold tester that I had before. And I have it right here. Yeah, same company, all right? This comes from the goldlock.com. Uh, but it was this thing right here, which, you know, uh, you have to keep it in your pocket if you're gonna go somewhere and test metals um, or just have it at the house, of course. But this one right here I found neat because it's like a credit card size. And you can just put it inside of your wallet. Uh, you go somewhere to buy gold. You go on Craigslist or someplace shady and, you know, find some, some gold for sale. Uh, you take this little bad boy right here with you to the place and do a quick little test, uh, which is cool. Uh, very, very neat. And, you know, like before what I talked about uh, with these right here is it's really good for testing like uh, tungsten inside of the um, gold um, if they decide to put... Uh, little pieces of tungsten just here or there with inside of it, um, you know, to try to try to cheat you on a little bit of gold. Maybe they don't cheat you on the entire bar, but they might stick a few little pieces of tungsten here or there to to reduce, you know, the basically the amount of gold they have to put in there and charge you still the full gold price. So that's what's going on. So let me show you this little little doomahickey here that I thought was fantastic. So uh, here's a little magnet right here that. Uh, from the goldlock.com again and we're going to take this you know quote unquote gold bar that's made out of plastic to be honest with you but we're going to put it underneath this little credit card sized uh, gold tester and i'm going to take the magnet and put it around let me see if i can get this right actually you know what let's go ahead and put it on the level ground and let's put the magnet up uh kind of you know up and down the sides of it go ahead and put it there and do a do a turn around it uh oh you see that thing forming right there? You see that little that little black spot? 
that right there shows you that there's a magnetic spot within that plastic. So you look in only that one little spot. So that's what I was talking about. Sometimes they might put a small piece of tungsten here or there to reduce uh, the amount of gold they got to put in these bars. And then you're going to still pay your almost $1,800 an ounce. Um, but they're going to, you know, get away with a little bit of, you know, extra money in their pocket pretty much. And then they'll just do it to somebody else. Uh, so that's the scam right there. But really cool. Um, a cool thing to have in your wallet. I'm going to put this in my wallet and, uh, you know, test out. And um, you can find magnets anywhere. Like I said uh, before in other videos, I've got these magnets right here. So, you know, this is a rare earth magnet. And this, this right here will fit anywhere. You can put this on your, your keychain, for crying out loud. It's just, you know, very simplistic and uh, very powerful. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I found it. Anyways, um, that's a cool little thing from the, the goldlock.com. Um, I'll put some info in the description if you want anything from them. Uh, they do give a discount to any of the viewers, so um, I'll, I'll get that coupon code for you as well. Um, I did get this note right here, and it came with a... Um, American Eagle. So that's pretty cool, right? Silver American Eagle. And let's get the proof one too. So fantastic. Thank you for the proof, American Eagle. It says, hey, Speg, how are you? I really enjoy your channel. My name is David King, and I'm from Rhode Island. Anyways, I had bought 10 Silver Eagles from eBay, and come to find out they were fake. So I'm giving you one to do a video on, uh, or whatever you want to do with it. I know you will enjoy it more than I did, LOL. Enjoy it and have a good day, David King, dollar sign. Um, America, you know what I mean? American flag. God bless America. Oh, look at that. It just says it right there. God bless America. Really? Really? God bless America. Anyways, um, so it's fake. Uh, <laughs> he told me. We're going to look at it for a minute. And uh, yeah. So one of the things on the, a lot of these fakes I'm noticing is that um, kind of like the, the flag right here has just the terrible looking lines in it. Uh, it just does not look good. Let me get this out of the, the case. All right, so a couple things I want to do to test this right here is first I'll put it on the old metal magic machine, the Sigma Metalytics, and check that out. Um, some quick info. I used to put this, uh, a link to their company on my uh, the descriptions of my videos to get one. Now, I don't know where you're going to get one. If maybe eBay has some, I'm not sure. Um, they kind of just stopped selling them on their website. They said that they would tell me if they're going to start selling them again. But, you know, like I said, I don't know where, where you can get them from right now. So I, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, it's see, it's all the way off to the, uh, the right. Let's get a real eagle just to show you what it should say. So all the way up to the right is not a good sign. Uh, here is a real eagle in an airtight. This is a 2020 eagle. And you should see that it is actually in the brackets. Of course, it's through the plastic, so you know it is what it is. It probably is going to have a little bit of an issue, but uh, yeah, boom. This is a good eagle. This one is not good. All right, so I have the scale out. It should be 31 grams uh, and some change, but 31 grams. And this one comes in at 32.3. Uh, so it is heavier than it's supposed to be. Um, the U.S. Mint is not trying to give out free silver. Um, it's not too crazy off. But it's also not really where it needs to be for a uh, government mint. So um, not a good sign. And, of course, we used the, the Sigma machine to tell us that it was not legit. So it's going to go into the gigantic pile of fakes that I have accumulated, thanks to my viewers. And here is that. Um, and it's going to get, uh, you know, smashed up and hammered up at some point. But yeah, these fakes are really accumulating in here. Uh, kind of sad. Sad that so many people have gotten gotten hammered on these fakes. You know, these gold bars and uh, yeah, gold coins in here. Here's a, here's a fake gold coin you've seen before. Uh, just terrible. Terrible thing. Anyways, um, that's the fix. Um, I thought this was very nice. I went into a, uh, a, a show and it was um, Scrapping, Hoarding, Tinkering Funds or SHTF's uh, live kind of stream that he was doing. And somebody in there said that, uh, well, after they won something, they said, give it to Spectacular. I said, uh, and I was like, wow, thank you so much. So uh, the viewer was Kellen L. And uh, if Kellen L. reaches out to me via email, I'd like to go ahead and talk to him. But it says, this is from SHTF. He says, Spectacular Kellen L. Wanted to give you some good karma with you by sending this 48 out of 50 limited edition 2020 Shamrock sticker coaster set to you. Enjoy your friend scrapping. So a uh, very nice looking coaster really fancy um man you know whew, i'm kind of jealous 
my coasters did not come out that well when I did them. So this is definitely special. And a couple of his stickers right there too. A very limited sticker that goes with the coaster. Fantastic. Maybe I can sell that on eBay for a million dollars one day. Who knows? Right, so you've seen this before in my live stream. Um, this case only comes from an Instagrammer, Oki Stacker. The, um, the Royal Fortune black flag coin, of course, does not come from him. Uh, that comes from Tuvalu. But he made a special holder just for it. Uh, he does sell these, more of these. Now, he did make some limited edition ones, which I tell you what, are fantastic. He even had his own certificate of authenticities uh, for the holders, which is wild to me. Really cool. He does such a good job. Look at these things. So he has one for the um, the Queen Anne's Revenge and the Royal Fortune. And uh, just great, great look to it. Uh, does a great job, this dude. Does a fantastic job. No joke. Fits great. Uh, 2020 Black Flag Row Fortune. Number one out of 15. Has the uh, the artwork right there of uh, Black Bart. And then Black Beard the Pirate. So there he is. Very cool look. Very neat holder. Uh, really impressed by Oki Stacker and what he's been doing with these holders. And uh, hopefully he gives me a chance of getting number one on the uh, the next in the series when it comes out. Because, man, they got to do more, right? This is doing really well for Atmex, and they're exclusive of this right here. Which, of course, comes from the Perth Mint. So, uh, double whammy on being cool, for sure. Anyways, um, it's just some cool stuff that I've picked up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, stayed till the end to see all the cool stuff, right? Some cool things here. And I tell you what, tell me about these medallions, what you think, man. I really love these. I hope the uh, the American Numismatic Society gets back to me about some information that they have uh, about these. I've actually emailed a few other people, too, just in case. Uh, check out this gold tester. You might want to go ahead and throw one of those in your wallet. If you plan on doing some, uh, some business with gold, wouldn't hurt to have it. Anyways, um, at this point, um, I got to go. Um, you know, I'm just going to keep getting stuff because I love it. Uh, this is something right here that I did not think that I was going to like as much as I did. But after I got home and started looking at them, I tell you what, man, I'm in love. In love with these guys. Wait, hold on a minute. Not really in love with the guys, per se, because uh, that's not my cup of tea. Nothing that, nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, I, you know what? I got to go. Spectacular is out. <laughs>